But today I wanted to show y'all a few things that we do on the homes that we don't have to do and some other builders don't do that uh, makes our home you know, stand out a little more. But here's one thing. We use the zip plywood. This is half inch zip. And then we tape the seams up. Um, we could just use standard plywood here um, and tie it, but that's, to me that's just not the way to do it. We use the zip, which doesn't require tie it, it's built into it, and you just tape your seams. And then we actually take a liquid uh, waterproofing and go over every single nail head that the tape doesn't cover. And another thing on our windows, if you can see here, they are sloped out five degrees. So if any water ever gets behind this window and gets in around the window, if it somehow gets in here, it gets down to this seal, instead of either just sitting on the seal and pulling up or even pulling up and going into the house, ruining the sheetrock, if it does get in here, it comes out. Because we shim our window up off this bottom and the water can come out under the bottom because you don't caulk the bottom of the window, you just caulk the other side. So if water does get in there, it can get out. But uh, that's just a couple things we do, you know, the sloped seals, the Tyvek. Uh, we use the 5.8 zip plywood on our roofs. If we don't have to, we could use standard 5.8. Um, and when you use the 5.8 on your roof, all you're required to do is tape the seams. Um, but we, we still put pill and stick over the top of it. It's another layer of protection. You know, we put the pill and stick over it to uh, make sure we don't have any problems in the future, you know. But uh, let's go upstairs and see what they got done. Coming together. Really starting to look good out here. Here you go. See here, this framing that goes here comes out. I think it's uh, almost three feet on this side. But basically, what we have here is that eight foot by eight foot tray right in the center here. The ceilings are ten foot inside the tray, nine foot outside the tray. So it'll step down a foot. If you can see these power lines right here, uh, we're working with the local power company to get these removed and go to underground. Um, so there won't be any power poles right here at all. These are all coming out. They'll go underground. I think power poles are some of the most hideous things there is. If you look this way down the street, they're already underground. There's no power lines. There's no power lines anywhere. It's, it's just those couple I showed you on this one street. There's one little bit of above ground. Everything else is above, underground. So we're going to get those uh, put underground fourth floor now this is a space right here that we actually added this wasn't here this was just open to below all the way from the landing over there it came up and went out the door um, but that landing just went straight across and this all was open to below yeah probably use an upper because they're only a foot wide we're in a row of upper cabinets so they have some storage up here and then put a bar top on top of it, like granite, something like that. So they can put bar stools here and still be able to see. And then over here, probably put a uh, mini fridge and an ice maker. That way it can be in this in indoor and conditioned space and not out here on the porch where the salt blows on everything when any kind of little storm comes up. Get it out of that salt here. So this, uh, this became usable space instead of just dead open space and now this is where the elevator comes up they come all the way up to the fourth floor now uh, the, the 
they originally had the elevator stopping at the third floor and it didn't come to the fourth floor even though the elevator shaft came all the way up so i got with the elevator guy and uh, we did some checking and we had to change the elevator size a little bit um, inside of the cab um, they had it a larger cab than normal so all we had to do is drop it down to a standard size cab and it can come all the way up to the fourth floor and that to me is absolutely worth it so now the elevator will come all the way up all right guys in case anybody missed it in the last video here it is the money shot man that's pretty this is our covered area back here on the fourth floor and um the plan you know it showed a vaulted ceiling underneath here uh, which we had to hand we had to stick frame all this so the one by six was going to go on the bottom of that rafter and i was like man we really need to put it on the top of the rafter because it's going to make it feel even smaller in here going to the bottom of that rafter so that's what we did we put it on top of the rafter to gain us some more headroom and then we ran the one by six tongue and groove up there makes it look sharp that'll all get painted everything will come out nice came out really nice up here all right guys we got the coffered ceiling done in the master bedroom here there's the edge and it steps up and has the beam on the inside that part comes down 12 inches the beams come down uh, six inches and that'll get wrapped and then in each section we'll get the peg cypress it's gonna look really cool starting to come together